What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to Tree Man TV, and welcome to the newest episode of the Car Vlog series. It's the first for, I don't know, two, three months now? It's been a while since we did a car vlog. I think the last one I did was just when I took you guys driving around town with me on my GoPro. Today, however, instead of doing anything with my car, we are meeting up with my good buddy Abram to go take a look at his 1999 Civic Hatch. It may be a little less exciting than some of the other cars that we've taken a look at here on the channel, but it is actually only the second non-Subaru to appear here on Treeman TV since Elijah's G37, like two and a half, maybe three years ago now. So, I'm excited to go show you guys something that's not just my Subaru, Uncle Jules' Subaru, Joe's Subaru, Jake's Subaru, Travis's Subaru, or Josiah's Subaru. See, we've had a lot of Subarus on the channel. From Foresters to three different WRXs, a Legacy GT, a GC. It's time to show you guys a different type of car. Which, I mean, yeah, you can probably go see a Honda Civic on any street that you walk down in America. But... What this Civic lacks in excitement, it makes up for in Abe's ability to drive. And I've got some new camera angles I'm going to show off. So let's go meet up with Abe and get right into this. Roll that intro. What the fuck are you doing now? Well, this... You need a chain for the shoe. What's up? Okay. <laughs> you, I'm going to have plenty of bloopers What's up, at least. YouTube? Uh, this is my 99 Integra. Fuck. <laughs> I was looking at the Integra and then I was like, trying to figure out what's, <laughs> what's up, guys? This is my 99 Civic Hatchback. JDM D15B with three stage VTEC. Uh, it's got really bad coilovers. It's got some seats. It's, uh, it drives and runs most of the time. Pretty nice. Here we have a disc brake conversion on Inkies. Still four lug, but locks up just the same. We have KYB struts with iBox shocks. Terrible setup, not adjustable, but they work really well. Always forget you have the struts too, the automatic. Yeah, pass them. Nice. Right. So here we have the D15B, no numbers after it. It's a JDM three stage VTEC, makes about 130 horsepower um, when it's running right. It's not, so probably making about 100 right now. What's so, wrong with it? Uh, fuel delivery issues, probably the injectors because they're all taped up. Um, yeah, it's got the hot air intake mod, uh, half size radiator. It's got, that's about it. Pretty stock. It's got the red painted uh, valve it cover. It does, it has the red VTEC valve cover. And the JDM that is not stock. oil cap. JDM oil cap with oil on it. With oil on it, authentic. Uh, do I talk about like maintenance history? It's up to you. <laughs> you want to bring it up? In 1999, it had its first oil change. Wow. 3,000 miles. No. Um, okay. <laughs> what have you done to it since you've owned the car? What have I done to it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. I, I replaced like all the suspension bushings, uh, struts, the trailing arms broke, so there's some bolts just mashed together in there. Uh, I replaced the rear control arms, uh, painted the wheels. Painted uh, the whole car. Painted, yeah, I painted the whole car. It used to be silver. You have uh, a picture of it, like bolt. still on your phone somewhere? I do. Uh, you have to send it to me and I'll right. pop it up next to you. We'll put it here. Yeah, yeah, you go, you get it. You go, you've been to YouTube, yeah. you understand yeah. how it works. Yeah, yeah, this guy, it's not his first day. Uh, let's see, the transmission. I don't know what transmission it is, <laughs> but it works. It's got how many gears? Five. There we go. Yeah, it's not a four speed, so oh. could be worse. What if you had a, would you put a six speed? I would. Yeah? Not with this engine. I'd get a better engine before I got a six speed. Okay. Um, this engine isn't worthy. You don't need the extra gear? No. <laughs> Come on. Maybe so I could climb a hill. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we got, got the half-size battery over there. 
Oh yeah, you um, look the lawnmower battery. Yeah. Look at that thing. It generates eight volts. Ugh. Is it? I don't know. It looks like it. I'm assuming it's still the same, the same power. I don't know. <laughs> it's You've got that. Oh, you shadows in the way. Talk about that. Yeah, no, you don't want to talk about that. It's terrible, rusty headers. I want to go turbo. And I don't want to waste money on headers when I'm just going to have to buy a turbo minimum. You want to buy one of those like $10,000 just header header sets that's like super shiny and everything? No. no? The oh, titanium okay. headers. Yeah. We have a, a JDM grill. Cracked bumper. I think it's a stock bumper. In but brand new headlights. Brand new headlights. They look, you know, literally brand new. They are pretty much brand new. Oh, I'm casting the shadow of it. I don't want to do what color were the rims before? The rims were still gray. Okay, oh yeah, it's just the inside that you painted, right? Well, we painted all of it, so, so we painted this with a satin finish. Inside it is purple now. Um, side marker, rare. That is <laughs> rare. Those are really expensive. Isn't the, the not, wing the, too, the, the, right? The, the wing is, no, that's nothing special. Um, it's cracked, it's hollow, <laughs> so weight reduction. Uh, it looks good though. And in the back, we have the ultra rare. <laughs> Nothing. Targo cover. Oh. People don't have these. No? It's like 200 bucks. Wow. Mine's ripped because I, I ripped it. Because you're abusive? But it still works. It still covers the cargo. Mm. What kind of cargo? Or is that cross have a toolbox. Oh, okay. <laughs> Battery pack. <laughs> Just blur that address <laughs> real quick. <laughs> We don't what live there anymore, so you can go there. What is it? Uh, is it car parts or just no, something else? No, that's a battery charger. Oh, okay. For, for a, a, a Ryobi power tool. Oh, okay. Um, we, we have this cut out to put in a strut bar. We just haven't got the strut bar yet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a little known fact. Where's the spare tire? Little known fact. Cars <laughs> didn't come with spare tires. From, my homie Chris said this. The base model Hondas didn't even have carpet lining on the trunk because of how stripped down they were. I don't think that's true. I think he was confused, but. Well, it doesn't have carpet, so. It doesn't, and that's how I got it, so he must have been right. Right. Uh, Those are the seats that you had installed, right? RSX, yup. That's no, that's not an RSX. <laughs> I said the seat. That's a GSR, that's a GSR, GSR seat. You didn't take bad. RSX seats? No, I like how those look more. So, okay. Yeah. You don't want the bucket got seats? The all new upgraded sound system in the back. What did you do to the sound system? I just got new speakers because they were all blown. Okay. So new speakers. What well, brand? What well, brand? Sitting on the seat. Alpine. Nice. Or Kenwood. <laughs> Which one? Do you remember? Whichever ones you are that they can buy at the AutoZone. <laughs> I think you could buy either one. I'll be honest with you. Well, it's one of those. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's about it. That's all she wrote. I got a subwoofer right there. I, I car came without a stereo. Where's the uh, subwoofer? It's right here in the seat. Oh, in the seat. Okay. Yeah, it's just sitting right there. Okay. I was like, no I was like, there's no This leaks water. Oh, so, so not, not yeah, where you yeah, want to yeah. put electrical stuff. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. See, there's holes for weight reduction. Um, that hole right there. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Weight reduction at its yeah. finest. This thing, speaking of weight, your favorite stupid Miata. But it's like 2,300 pounds on average. Right. This, 21. Ooh. 21. Ooh. 2,100 pounds. Have you Full taken interior. it? Taking it into a downhill? Every day. Oh, nice. You know who's beating me? Nobody. Not, a, not some guy in an A6? A, no. No. Not even a guy in an R32. Oh, sure. Okay. Okay. When when did those races I've happen? never raced anybody in this. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. I raced a Nissan Leaf and I lost. You aced so, me too. I did well. Yeah, but that 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 was obvious. I thought I was gonna beat the Nissan Leaf. Oh, okay. Would you beat the Integra? I raced her too, and no. Oh. She's she's got a B series. Wait, you lost to the automatic Integra? It's automatic and B series. Yeah, you, don't you know that how to- That thing has like 160 horsepower. <laughs> that's unfair for you. Yeah. That's, that's unfair. Come on. I didn't realize, I didn't realize it was packing that much heat in the, uh, the Integra over there. 
It don't look like it, does it? You gonna start her up? Oh, I guess. <laughs>
take to the track on the weekend, but still drive during the week. Exactly. I like that. Drive like you're on a track. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you have a horsepower goal, like in mind, like a number? Uh, I want to get just like 250. Okay, that'd be That's, good for this little car. Yeah, 250 and some weight reduction. You just gotta turn into these people's driveway. All right. Then. But yeah, 250 with this, what well, you'd be like, what? Just how light? At that point, um, too, because you want a weight reduction. You said it depends on how much I really wanted to reduce, right? If I were to just like get lighter doors, I could drop another hundred pounds. Wow, that's yeah, impressive. Those heavy, heavy doors. Yeah, those doors are pretty heavy. You're yeah. not wrong. Yeah. So, weight reduction isn't really the biggest goal because I still want to be comfortable, and this right. car is already so light. It's too light. It's unstable. That's true. So, and front wheel drive at that point. So all you wheel drive conversion coming up, boys. Oh, okay. All wheel drive conversion. Full He's talked about that a lot too, actually. Full CRV drivetrain spot. That'd be pretty crazy. That'd be so dumb. That'd be a cool, cool ass car. Too lifted. Oh, yeah. I mean you're already lifted. <laughs> okay, that's true. <laughs> hey, you, you're the one who bought coilovers on Facebook Marketplace. I didn't have a choice. I, I had like three days. I needed to make a road trip and all my shocks were snapped. How did you snap all your shocks? Driving too hard. That's what it's like when you're a baller, kids. Well, you know? happens when you push the limit. You, you <laughs> break things. You break things, that's right. Hopefully it's just nothing too expensive. Never let the limit break you. That's right. Never let the limit break you, viewers at home. Never. All right, you guys, thank you all so much for tuning in to this video right here on Tree Man TV. If you enjoyed checking out Abe Civic and want to see future videos as he upgrades it and turns it into the monster that he wants it to be, then leave a like down below and comment more Abe. If you want to see Abe come back, maybe we'll go do some more driving videos together, get some rolling shots. It'll be a good time. If you want to see future episodes of the Car Vlog series in general, be sure you subscribe so that you know when I upload those and hit the bell icon so that you get notified when I upload any videos we've got a new season at apex legends starting in like two days so we're gonna be back on that grind trying to get back to masters and we have got so much content that it's not even funny i know i took most of october off but we're coming back with a fury so you're not gonna want to miss any of it smash that subscribe button oh and happy halloween to everybody because as the day we're uploading this is the day right before halloween so Happy Halloween to you from Tree Man. I have my new Jujutsu Kaisen hoodie on to celebrate Halloween. So there's that. And yeah, until next time, this is Tree Man signing off. Peace.